Kerry, it's lovely to see you here today at MCON. How have you been enjoying it? I have loved it. It's been really fun and I've got to meet a lot of people as well, so it's good. Now, of course, I'm sure they've all been asking you about Game of Thrones today because you play the brilliant Shireen Baratheon on the show. And what's been the highlights of you filming so far? Um, for me, it's getting to work with such amazing actors like Liam, Stephen, Carice, Kit and all of them. Um, it's been it's been a roller coaster. We have good days, you have bad days, um, but overall, it's been absolutely amazing, and I've learned so much just by watching the opposite person act. Um, because even just the way they deal with little things, like when they forget the lines, how do they deal with it? If they go wrong, how do they deal with it? If they think something doesn't feel natural to the scene, how do they deal with it? And you know, it, it it's little things like that that you learn from such an amazing set. Now you mentioned some of the people you've been working with there. I love the scenes where you're teaching Davos to read. What was it like filming that? It's a lot of fun, you know, you get, um, I mean, so far we've only had um, two, is it, yeah, two reading lessons, uh, but they've been a lot of fun because I get to tell them what to do. <laughs> I, get, I get to tell an adult what to do and it's, it's fun being in charge. And you told Melisandre exactly what you thought of her as well, didn't you? I did. I did. <laughs> no, I think um, Shireen's very intimidated by Melisandre. She knows that she is a dangerous woman and um, I think she just didn't want to let that show. I think it's a case of I'm scared of you but I'm not going to show that I'm scared of you because that's a case of you've lost. You know, you, you, show, you, show, the, um, you show that they're intimidating you but um, she is definitely um, intimidated by uh, Melisandre but she tends not to show that. Now your mum isn't exactly how should we say it team Shireen is she but your dad does love you doesn't he? <laughs> well Tara does, Tara's lovely um, Stephen is he's a brilliant actor he likes to stay in, he likes to stay in character as most of the actors do and so um, I take it on by myself I, I don't I choose I take the choice not to um, you know talk to him when he's in character because I don't want to be the one to um, break that um, but when we're in the car together going home and stuff, he's really, really lovely. And he's, he's, he's a really nice man as well. Um, and so is Tara. Tara's lovely. Um, but we spent, um, we spent, like, the, we'd only just met on the end of season four. Uh, we hadn't actually met before then. And it was really nice because she's, she's a really lovely woman. Now, you mentioned, of course, season four there, which has been a brilliant season, hasn't it? I mean, but we've got season five coming up as well. I mean, how did it, has it compared for you going back and shooting season five compared to those previous seasons? Well, Shireen was only meant to be a one season thing. Um, she was meant to come in, uh, just appear, and then just that was it. And um, I'm, I guess it's really lucky how her character's expanded um, because I would never have gotten to meet the people that I have met if it hadn't have been for her character expansion um, and so season four for me was fine I was like you know if, if I don't come back for season five it, it's fine I've, I've got to I got to work with such amazing people and luckily I got the call from season five and it was just so overwhelming to be part of the show for, for so far three years where that was only meant to be one year so it's yeah it's, it's, an, it's an honor what can you tease for us to season five it's it's, it's, it's a dark season, that's what I'll say. It's, it's um, a lot of stuff happens in season five. Um, I don't get the full scripts um, because of the content of the show and obviously my age, but um, from what I have heard by talking to other people on the show, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot in store in season five. And for Shireen as well? Um, Shireen, yeah, uh, you see her a little more this season, um, which is good. I think season three, uh, you see season three, you saw her a little bit, season four, a little bit more, and then season five, a little bit more as well. So it's good, and I really enjoyed filming the scenes as well. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got the grayscale on your face, mm -hmm. haven't you? That yeah. You've got to get in there really early in the morning to get that done, haven't you? What's it like? It's tiring because, um, you know, you get onto set, and obviously I've been there... Um, a little earlier than everyone else has, and people get into the makeup truck and they sit down and they complain about how early they are, how early they're up, and I just look at them, like um, hello. <laughs> no, but the makeup itself takes. Um, it used to take three hours, which was a bit of a drag, um, but then season five we managed to, we got it down to two hours, um, which was really good. So um, and because I'm still under 15, I'm still under sixteen. Um, my hours I have to be careful of how much I work so it's great some of the actors find it a real relief when they're working with the child because they know that if the child can't be on there they won't be there <laughs> so I can't work I can't be 
physically filming until after seven. Um, so in reality, they don't actually have to get there. Um, they don't actually have to get there extremely early. They get there a little bit before seven. Mm -hmm. So um, it's almost like, is there a child on set today? <laughs> <laughs> and we have to finish it at a certain time as well. So um, they, their days are shorter. <laughs> so everyone's, can I have more scenes with Shireen, please? <laughs> <laughs> Just because I don't have to work any longer. <laughs> They must all love you, Kerry, on set. Um, of course, we saw you in Castle Black in the very end of the show in season four, didn't we? And I'm wondering how that compared to your experience filming the rest of it and what's it been like opening up into that world? Because, of course, there's many more people that you're yeah. meeting, isn't there? Um, well, before, I've only ever filmed with um, three people. I filmed with um, Liam, Stephen and Carice, and that, that was it. Um, so getting to explore this other set, especially with um, all the other people from the Night's, Night's Watch and stuff, it was it was absolutely amazing because going from being in a green room, like the like a green room with two people, to going in a green room full of 10 people who are joking around, they get on really, really well. As much as I get on with the other cast, it's nice to be in an environment where everyone's joking and, you know, getting told off. <laughs> it's, it was so, it was just a lot of fun to film with, um, film with more people, uh, especially as because of so many more people um, there was a bit less time working <laughs> um, because obviously there were so many different angles and stuff so you didn't have to be on set as long as you would usually if it was only two. Kerry it's been lovely talking to you today <laughs> hope you enjoy the rest of your time on Game of Thrones we're going to enjoy watching you definitely. Thank you. <laughs>